This is absolutely wonderful. Trying to get them to learn lyrics. You can shade it and pull down the shade to where you want it to be. So it's like, what's the next line coming up? Down comes the shade to the next line. Of course, the shade doesn't only go from top to bottom. It also goes side to side and from the bottom to the top. So the shade tool is very helpful. Anytime you're up at the whiteboard, the last thing you want to do is go back to your keyboard. So the X is great because it deletes things. Um, you can undo things. You can paste things. And as you're in, I'm not sure if you can see this because the meeting controls are over there. As you're on the side here, it's always so nice that right here you can hit and get a new slide right on the side because usually that's where you are, usually to the side of the screen. So those are just some of the basic tools that are right there included. Um, some other things. I almost forgot, make very easy charts. The charts also can have their own shade so that you can reveal an answer. If you want to put an answer in, just double click it, put in your answer, and there we go, it's automatically in there. To get to the double shade, you right click if you're Windows, um, control click Mac, and of course if you're on this Mac laptop that I'm on, you just double click, and there you go can reveal it. That's really nice. These are for um, the Sentio Smart Clickers, actually now a smart response system, which I'll just briefly describe at the end. Coming over to software. So you have this interactive whiteboard and you have been using software. Let's say you've been using Groovy Jungle in your classroom. One thing I like that Sibelius did about Groovy Jungle is it made it so that if your youngest of kids can reach the smart board, you don't have to bring in the chair. And I'll show you in a minute, as you're going to see, Groovy Jungle launch. And again, this is a Sibelius product. It is sold here at Soundtree, I believe, for $57. I could be wrong. I think it might. It could be, it could be $59. Correct. Say again? It's 57 Amy. I'm sorry. You're correct. All right. <laughs> that was a good guess. $57 at Soundtree. Actually, won't get that lower price anywhere else. So if you're going to buy this product, you do want to buy it from Soundtree. I'm in the create mode right now. And what's really wonderful in this, so if I can move that over, there we go, is you can make this fit your kindergartners. My kindergartners were using actually groovy shapes, which looks like this, last week. So it's nice, I'm going to go back to jungle, is when you take out a groovy jungle rhythm like this, um, I'm, though you can't quite hear it, all they have to do is click and drag. They love this. And I'm telling you, my kindergartners, as young as them, could do this. Uh, of course, my, my third graders use this in cooperation with their science rainforest unit. So we integrate this into music, and they create their own piece, and they use this text tool right here to write facts about the rainforest. And then they create this whole fax with the whole um, uh, song, and it's beautiful. You can check out, check out some of those um, arrangements right over in my, on my website. But this is just a very easy way to use any sort of software. That's good. I think luckily, that was it I was using of a uh, Groovy Jungle. PowerPoints, music notation software, music ace, any one of your software, they can be used right here on, on the notebook. Links. You could put links right into your smart board file, uh, words. So for this one right here, all I would do is insert the link, and I put in Phil Tolga. That's perfect. It's already inserted. It came up as a little icon, and when I click on it, it immediately goes to Phil's site. If you've never been to the site, it has wonderful integration activities. And one of the things I love, I can find it. Here it is that's great on the so, uh, smart board or any interactive whiteboard is sequencing with Simon. And you have to remind the students they really can't hurt the, so, the smart board, so they can really hit it pretty well. It's interesting how I know students have one in their classroom and the students that don't. The students that don't write so lightly on it, I really have to encourage them that they can give a little force to it. And the students who have one in their classroom, they come up, I swear they could start writing books on the smart board. They're so comfortable with it. But this um, sequencing with Simon, I know I'm outdating myself, but um, I used to have that game, and that is great. And they're using all pitches of so me, me so, excuse me. And um, it's, it's really, you can use any of your interactive white 
uh, websites here right on your whiteboard, which is amazing. That's just using a whiteboard for an interactive way. But let's get into using the whiteboard in a more thorough way. So the smart board comes with smart notebook. Smart notebook here in the gallery essentials. Now, if you have a whiteboard and for some reason you um, it's not in your classroom, but there are smart boards. Let's say there's smart boards around your school somewhere. You actually can ask the IT people to put this smart notebook software that I am using right now on your computer, regardless if the whiteboard is in your classroom or not. They can do that. They might not offer. So you need to tell them, and they can. And then you can go and just experiment with a lot of these fun items in here. So, for example, in the Gallery Essentials and the Arts, there's a music folder right here. Since I know I'm going to use this a lot, I added this music folder to my content right there. And therefore, I never need to go and look through all those folders. It's right here. One of the things I love about this is looking over here in the music notes, I can take something um, like this notebook files and pages and just put a manuscript right there and use that right in class. It's ready. And you'll notice there's a lot of different manuscript papers that you can use here in your classroom. So now I want to put notes on it. Well, I just go into the notes in the pictures, and I can take a G class and stick it in there and resize it if the G class is not fitting the stack correctly. You can take notes that are all in here. Put a middle C right there, like that right there. Of course, there's a bar line. You can just stick it right on there. They have many different things, upside down notes, dotted notes, sixteenth notes, rests, sharps, flats, naturals, time signatures. One thing they used to not have, and it used to drive me nuts in the 9.7, I'm using the 10 version. 9.7 used to not have TTs. They didn't used to have grouped eighth notes, and you used to have to draw them yourself. This 10 version does, which is much nicer. <laughs> So it has these right here where you can just use them when you need to use them. Instruments are here, too. Now, they have pictures of about 17 instruments there. Just a nice picture. Again, just click on it, resize it. You need more than one, well, then clone it. Then you have another one. How did I clone it? You just click on the picture and click on clone. Um, but, however... Anytime you see interactive or multimedia means that if I take this triangle, it will actually play by clicking on this right here. I'm going to try it again and put the um, phone to the speakers. I hope I didn't just blast you out. So you have some interactive ones there. One that I love having an ORF background. So it's not an ORF instrument. However, it is great when you have, they have the xylophones in front of them. And this plays as you click on it. And what's really neat is you can actually record your own song and play it back. You minus an xylophone in your classroom, there you go. Don't, uh, don't forget the Music K through 8 has um, some wonderful links that has an interactive recorder. This is music8k8.com. It has an interactive recorder and also has an interactive boom whacker. So if you're lacking some instruments or you have a class of 35, which I know some of you do, here's another way. You have a whiteboard in your room. You can put up a nice, like, interactive um, instrument up there, and now you've got more kids who can play on it because they just come up right up to the board and play it. Again, Music K3 has interactive boom whackers and interactive recorders. Those two links are on my um, on my website under resources. Continuing on and checking on time. Great. I'm showing you some things there. Now I want to look at some lessons that I actually use in my classroom. These lessons are also on my resource page. So if you would like to take them, please go right ahead. My whole thing is to not reinvent the wheel. I love going through this notebook software and making lessons. I do. I'll admit that to you. That's just who I am. However, not all of us have time to sit down and do that. So when I can go and find great links to other lessons that are for the Promethean board or the uh, smart board, I go to those links. And I will show you those links at the end of this session. 
So talking about the grouping before, I have right now this first grade activity in four of my first grade classes. And all I have to do is just set it up once and then add the groups. So they have Ms. Cypher's class, Ms. Coombs' class, Ms. Kinney's class, Ms. Um, Holly's class, and it just comes out easily. All I have to do is just duplicate or cl um, clone the page, and then I can drag it anywhere that I want to put it and delete the same way. So this is nice. I don't have to keep opening files, especially if they edit or manipulate the file in some way, shape, or form. So this activity right here is the note tree. The first graders come up, and they have to play the, put these in the correct basket. I made this myself. It was not too difficult to make. You start with trying to find a tree. So you just type in tree. Hit enter, and you'll find a bunch of trees. I liked this tree and stuck it there. Then I went back to the notes. And in the pictures of the notes, put some notes up on the tree. And it's very, very simple. Then the basket, I typed in basket. Don't discount their search tool. They have a lot of good things in it, especially if you just search for something, then they really put in this, <laughs> they combine two words together. The basket right there, I labeled the basket by putting like this, ta, a, and then I just stuck it down, oops, sorry. And just put it right here. If they are moving this around and you don't want them moving it around, two things. One, you can group two of these. All I did is highlight both of these, click here, and group them. Then, if it's still moving all over the place, lock it. It will not move now. So you don't have that um, one child who likes to just wreak havoc all over your room of moving everything around, and I know you all have one of those. You can lock this into place, and just to unlock it, all you have to do is click on it and get that lock off. That's how I made that lesson. Um, continuing on, this is such an easy lesson. This is they would take a pen, a smart board pen, and write out what these um, emotions are, and then I took a shape that was the same color as the background, white, and it reveals the answers. This is Maestro Max. There are times we use music aids to reinforce and assess items that we're doing. So Maestro Max, I just took him off the Internet. All I had to do was save image as, and then all I had to do was insert a picture file. And there he appeared. I made that little, um, that one there with the, that's a shape right here, that little um, quote that he's saying. And then I just typed it in. The smiley face I showed you before I made with this pen right here. What's wonderful now is if you have a class of 10 or if you have a class of 35, you only have to make one. And then you infinite clone. Infinite clone is wonderful because it just lets you know there's an item that all the kids are going to use in your class. It just lets you infinitely clone that item to no end. Wonderful. So in the 